I had a viewer send me an email asking me about some trouble he was having with his Sony VHS front loader not ejecting the tape. So I told him I'd make him a video. Little did I know that the front loader I just happened to select has the very problem that he's having. So let's check it out. This is the front loading mechanism from a Sony VHS machine. Now many Sony VHS machines and their Super VHS machines such as the SLVR5, SLV1000, SL, SV02000, SLV757, SLV555, SLV686, all the ones that use the same mechanism as those models have the same front loader. This was the original mechanism that Sony had, and these have do have some problems. And I had a fellow that was asking specifically about his, why his would accept the tape, but it would not eject the tape. So there are some common problems that happen with these units as they age, and a lot of it's to do with plastic fatigue. So when these machines operate, it's loading the mechanism manually here, you'll see that there's a, there's a well, we're gonna take this apart, but got a couple gears on the side, a motor and a rod that goes through, and then some more gears on the other side. And how these operate is when the, when the mechanism retracts, when the tape unlaces, this motor comes on, which turns, this, this uh, motor spins this worm gear. The worm gear turns this drive gear, which operates the mechanism. And one very, very common problem that happens on these, and I don't know whether it's happened on this one or not, because I really haven't used this machine in many years. This is a parts donor machine that this came off of. We're going to take this apart and we're going to look at it and see whether this one has suffered the fate that many of them do. So we, we do that by pressing down on the tabs to release the side plate. Lift the side plate off so that we can see the mechanism. There's three tabs on the side here. Actually there's four. And then this will lift right off. Trust me, it will lift off. You press the tabs down. There we go. Okay, so now the side plate is off. Now we can see the mechanism in all its glory. It's actually quite simple. It's just a couple of arms on a cam gear. Here's the cam here. This cam is what lifts up and opens up the tape compartment, the door, as you can see, through this lever here. When the tape goes in, release the latches. Just like that and when the tape when the tape is ejected it just lifts it up not much to go wrong with this sometimes these gears break sometimes these gears break and usually where they break is right where they go through the shaft they will split and they can split in two but the most common problem on these is this cam gear here now when it's in the eject position you'll notice that these holes line up with the holes on the other side right you'll see that the two holes line up there if we put a light below, you will see that the light will shine through the bottom here. See the two holes there? So that's how you know when you're lined up. That's the ejected position. Very common problem on these is this gear right here. This splits right where the motor is. And what happens when it splits is the motor will spin and it won't turn this gear. It doesn't have enough torque to lift the tape. And usually what happens on these is it cracks right down here. We'll inspect this one and see if it's cracked or not. Oh, look, this one has a crack. This one is defective. Excellent! This is what usually happens on these machines, which causes these machines to not eject. So the loaded tape, no problem, but when, they, when you go to eject it, it won't eject. And what will happen is when I apply power to this motor, if I'm just holding this gear by hand, it will slip. See? The motor slips inside this collar. It should turn the gear like that to eject it. The tape will always go in because you've got the weight of the tape helping it and you're pushing it. So when you push it, you, when you push it, you actually move the motor and then the, the mechanism kicks in and it drops the tape down. But when it goes to eject, it slips. 
right there. This is the most common problem on these machines. And it's just by chance, just by chance that when I grabbed this mechanism out of a donor machine that the gear was cracked. I had no way of knowing that that was the problem on this one at the time. So if we remove the motor, to remove the motor completely we have to remove this gear as well. So we take off the, the washer here, remove the gear, and remove the motor. And this is the piece that splits. You can see right there. And about all you can do on these, because this part is not available and it hasn't been available for, for a very long time, is what we used to do on these is we used to glue these together. Get some um, epoxy, like like you know, quick set five minute epoxy. You can't glue them with crazy glue because crazy glue will not stick to nylon. But put some five minute epoxy on. <clears throat> Then you set the shaft back in place. You gotta be relatively quick because you've only got a few minutes to do this. Put the shaft back in place and get the screws in place. And then you need to adjust the clearance on it, but you got to do it before the, the cement dries. You want to make sure that there is a little bit of play. Ideally, there's a little bit of, of space, but not much. That's too much space. You see how much space there? You don't want that kind of space. You want just maybe a half a millimeter or so of space like that so that the gear can move back and forth. Now what happens is when it's loading and unloading, depending on way, what way it's going, it's trying to push this one way. It's, it's either pulling this way or it's pushing the other way. Once it's glued in place, you want it to pretty much just have very little clearance. Maybe a half a millimeter to a millimeter is all you really need. Just like that. And once the glue sets up, you should be able to put the unit back together and it should operate. Now I repaired a lot of these machines this way because the parts were uh, always hard to get from Sony. It was available as a service part but um, it became harder to get and it was always one that was on back order right you'd order the part in and someone always wanted their VCR you know oh we need the VCR tonight it's babysitting the kids for us we need the VCR so we used to pop these apart put a little bit of epoxy on it put it back together it was good we never they never broke again so that's, that's a quick, easy way to fix one of these front loaders. And then when you put it back together, just make sure that you've got your the holes lined up here through the gear and the, the mechanism is in the fully unloaded position and they just snap together just like this. You just push them, push them on just like that. And they will snap in. Just like that. Now uh, the mechanism will work again. If I release it and pull the mechanism down, just like that, and then on eject. So that's how you fix a front loading mechanism for a Sony VHS machine, first generation. Thanks for watching.